Hi, my name is Gina Taylor and I'm the owner of Epona Therapy Services. I'm proud to be part of Inclusion Festival Online and today I'm going to present to you how horses can help. Horses can help people of all abilities. There are many, many ways that people interact with horses and in some of the ways we're going to think about today are therapy, including physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech language pathology, and mental health services, education, such as equine assisted learning or coaching models, and in horsemanship, adaptive riding, carriage driving, interactive vaulting, competition such as parasports and Special Olympics, and groundwork with horses. As we go through this, you'll learn about the many ways that horses can help. When we think about therapy services, we're looking at licensed medical and mental health professionals that work with horses to achieve traditional therapy goals. Hippotherapy is one treatment tool that focuses on the movement of the horse to help the client. Mental health services with horses follow a number of different models and focus on the relationship between the person and the horse, or they look at the metaphors that the client sees in the horse's behavior. The American Hippotherapy Association provides education to therapists who want to use hippotherapy in their practice, while Agala and PATH provide training for mental health professionals. In physical therapy, physical therapists are experts at movement and restoring a person's ability to move. Physical therapists often help children, adults, as well as older adults. The physical therapist directs the horse handler to get the needed movement from the horse to impact the client's muscles, strength, and coordination. Hippotherapy is a tool used by physical therapists in addition to tools in the clinic, such as a therapy ball or resistance bands. Hippotherapy is part of the treatment plan to address movement challenges. In occupational therapy, occupational therapists focus on improving daily living skills, sensory skills, and helping people to do the things that occupy their daily life. Occupational therapists work with children, adolescents, and adults with physical, sensory, and mental health challenges. Hippotherapy is a tool used by occupational therapists to improve self-help, play, social, and self-regulation skills. Hippotherapy is one tool used in addition to other tools such as balls, swings, and toys. I'd like to tell you a story about using hippotherapy. As an occupational therapist, I've used hippotherapy as a tool in my practice throughout most of my career, and I have many memorable stories at how hippotherapy has benefited my clients. One client that comes to mind in particular was a little girl who was having trouble playing. Now, most kids can run around, play, ride their bike, and make friends. This little girl was having trouble with all of those things. And in occupational therapy, we were focused on helping her access the playground and make friends with other children. Using hippotherapy was effective in helping her figure out the way to move her body. So after her initial evaluation, she came to OT services and using the movement of the horse, gained better body awareness. Her mother reported that after the first treatment session, they stopped by a playground on their way home. On the playground, the little girl, for the first time ever, climbed up the slide and went down the slide. Her mom was so excited to say this was the first time she had ever accessed any of the playground equipment. It was super exciting for mom to see her finally be outgoing and mom not have to prompt her to go down the slide or to get on a swing. Mom was so excited that after our next treatment session, she decided to go back to the playground. This time, not only did the little girl go on the slide, she also attempted the swings and while on the swings, made friends with another little girl who was swinging beside her. This was a true win for the family and explains the power of occupational therapy using hippotherapy. In speech language therapy, speech language pathologists focus on improving speech, language, and social skills in their client. Speech and language therapy is facilitated in the language rich environment of the barn, arena, and by the movement of the horse. Hippotherapy addresses the underlying systems that support speech and language, such as respiration, core strength, and alignment of the trunk and oral motor structures. Hippotherapy is a tool used to prepare the client physically for speech, provide rhythm for speech sounds, and provide opportunities for meaningful use of language. In mental health services, psychologists, psychiatrists, counselors, social workers, and marriage and family therapists work with horses in their work with children, adolescents, adults, and families. 
Therapists work with an equine specialist to form a treatment team with the horse and the client. The horse may participate with the person or groups of people. The therapist follows a clinical model of treatment, but allows the horse to interact with the client to reveal truths and provide feedback to the client. People are often drawn to interact with horses in ways that they are not open to do in traditional talk therapy. Now we can think about education. In education, educators work with students and horses to improve learning outcomes. Horses can be motivating and provide non-judgmental support for struggling learners. Coaching and corporate retreats may also help people learn about their strengths and increase personal growth. Equine assisted learning is one area of education. In equine assisted learning, it's an experiential learning approach which promotes the ability of the student to learn. Equine assisted learning is an approach to learning that involves interactive, goal-oriented activities with horses. Teaching professionals work with horses to teach academic and personal growth concepts. Sessions may be provided to individuals, school groups, classes, or other types of organizations. Coaching also falls under education. Coaching focuses on the interaction with the horse for personal development. It may expand the client's awareness of patterns that may be limiting growth in their relationship and career. It is facilitated by certified coaches, riding instructors, holistic health practitioners, as well as organizational development professionals. Coaching is one of the many different types of equine assisted services that help individuals work through circumstances that are hindering their growth. It can help people reflect back on previous life experiences that are preventing them from growing in their personal life or their professional career. When the focus is on horsemanship, people of all abilities can learn to enjoy horsemanship skills. Instructors are trained and certified to work with people with diverse needs. PATH and CHA are two certifying organizations. In adaptive or therapeutic riding, it's a riding lesson that is adapted specifically for the riding student. The student may have different learning needs or physical needs. Adaptive riding focuses on learning the skills needed to ride a horse as independently as possible. The student may ride with a leader and two sidewalkers, or may be able to walk, trot, canter, and even jump independently. Therapeutic riding is another term for adaptive riding, can be, but can be confused with therapy in some cases. Groundwork with horses often focuses on horsemanship training, such as Pirelli or the Anderson method. It focuses on gaining skills, handling the horses on the ground, and can be used for pre-vocational training. Groundwork with horses can be helpful for people who want to learn about horses and how to take care of them. Carriage driving allows drivers of all abilities to drive and or compete together. Wheelchair users may prefer carriage driving to riding due to the independence they can achieve while carriage driving. Carriage driving can also be done by people with poor balance or those who may weigh too much to ride. Carriage driving can be done as pleasure driving or for sport as in combined driving, which has three phases, dressage, cones, and cross country. Interactive vaulting is gymnastics on horseback. A group of people work together with one horse, one instructor, and a horse handler to lunge the horse. The horse moves on a circle around the people and each person has a turn to complete a movement on the back of the horse. Interactive vaulting can accommodate a diverse group as each person has an individual turn. The group can focus on interaction between group members or the group member and the horse. In competition, there are horse shows, para equestrian, and special Olympics. Many riders come to enjoy competition. They may compete in horse shows at local or regional events. Para equestrians compete in the para Olympics, while special athletes can compete in special Olympic equestrian competitions. Have questions about how horses can help? You can contact me directly at oponatherapy at gmail.com or for more information, go to oponatherapyservices.com or you can connect with me on social. On Facebook, find me at Opona Therapy Services. On Insta, Gina Taylor OT. And on Twitter, at Horses Can Help. 
See you there.